Imagine a world where you could effortlessly understand your partner's emotional needs and desires. A world where confusion and miscommunication are replaced with harmony and mutual understanding. This, my friends, is no fantasy, but the very premise of the book, The Five Love Languages, How to Express Heartfelt Commitment to Your Mate, by Gary Chapman. Picture this, a relationship where you and your partner speak different languages, not in terms of words, but emotions. It's like trying to appreciate a symphony when you're tone deaf or admiring a sunset when you're colorblind. It's frustrating, isn't it? But that's where Chapman's book steps in as a translator, a guide to the language of love. The Five Love Languages is not just another relationship guide, it's a tool, a roadmap, if you will, to navigating the complex labyrinth of emotional communication. At its heart, the book introduces the revolutionary idea that everyone has a primary love language that speaks more deeply to them than all the others. It's the language that, when spoken, can fill our emotional love tank to the brim, and when neglected, can leave us feeling empty and unloved. The love languages are a roadmap to understanding how people express and receive love. First on our journey is the realm of words of affirmation. This love language thrives on verbal compliments and words of appreciation. It's all about expressing love with words that build up your partner. Remember the story in the book about the woman who never felt loved until her husband started leaving her little notes of appreciation? That's the power of words of affirmation. Next, we venture into quality time. Here, nothing says I love you like full, undivided attention. It's not just about being in the same room, but actively engaging and connecting with your partner. The book shares an example of a husband who learned to turn off the TV and spend time talking with his wife each evening. That simple act transformed their relationship. Third, we find the world of receiving gifts. Now, this isn't about materialism, but rather the thought and effort behind the gift. A gift says, I was thinking of you. It could be as simple as picking a flower on your walk home or as elaborate as a surprise birthday party. Next stop, acts of service. For some, actions truly do speak louder than words. Cooking a meal, doing the laundry or picking up a prescription, these are all acts of service. They require thought, time and effort. In the book, there's a story about a wife who felt loved when her husband started helping out with the household chores without being asked. Finally, we reach physical touch. This love language isn't solely about what happens in the bedroom, it's about any form of touch that is safe and loving. A hug, a pat on the back, holding hands, these are all expressions of love. So you see, these five love languages, words of affirmation, quality time, receiving gifts, acts of service and physical touch are different ways that people express and receive love. Understanding your partner's primary love language, the one that speaks most deeply to them, can help you communicate love more effectively. But remember, it's not about you, it's about them. It's not about speaking your love language, but learning to speak theirs. Because ultimately, love isn't about what we want to receive, but what we choose to give. Remember, it's not about your love language, it's about speaking your partner's language. But how do you discover your love language or that of your partner? You may ask, well, the journey of understanding starts with introspection and observation. Indeed, understanding our love language, as well as our partners, is like gaining access to a hidden door in our personality. As we tread on this path of discovery, we need to observe behavior, listen to complaints, and analyze what one requests most often. It's a process of decoding the subtle signs that our subconscious leaves behind. You see, our love language often reveals itself in the way we express affection. It's in the little acts of love we perform, the thoughtful gestures, the comforting words, the precious time we carve out for our loved ones. Then there are complaints. They might seem like a nuisance, but in reality, they're gold mines of information. When your partner complains, they are essentially expressing their unmet needs. So if your partner often mentions feeling neglected, they might crave quality time. If they lament about not hearing I love you enough, words of affirmation might be their love language. Let's not forget about what we request the most. If you find yourself constantly asking for help around the house, you might be speaking the language of acts of service. Or if you're always seeking hugs and cuddles, physical touch, could be your primary love language. But what if you're still unsure? 
Well, Gary Chapman has thought of that too. In his book, he provides an online quiz to help you discover your primary love language. This quiz is a set of situational questions that nudges you to introspect and evaluate your emotional responses. While it's not a foolproof method, it's a great starting point. So why is this discovery so crucial? Because knowing your love language and that of your partner can help you better articulate your emotional needs and understand theirs. It's a tool for empathy, a guide to deeper connection, and a blueprint for lasting love. And remember, there's no right or wrong love language. It's about understanding, not judgment. It's about embracing the uniqueness of our emotional expression and loving in the language that our partner understands. Understanding our love language as well as our partners is like gaining access to a hidden door in our personality. The five love languages doesn't just help us understand our partners better, it provides the tools to fundamentally transform our relationships. Across the globe, countless couples have credited this book with reviving their relationships, breathing new life into their love. By fostering better communication and understanding, the five love languages has acted as a catalyst for positive change. This book's impact stretches beyond the realm of individual relationships. It has influenced the field of relationship counseling and therapy providing a fresh perspective and practical strategies that therapists can use to help couples navigate their unique love languages. It has offered a new lens through which to view love and communication, revolutionizing the way we think about and approach relationships. Consider this. You're in a relationship where you often feel unappreciated or unloved. You read the five love languages and discover that your primary love language is words of affirmation. Suddenly you understand why certain behaviours from your partner, though well-meaning, don't fill your love tank. You now have the vocabulary to express your needs in a way your partner can understand and, more importantly, act upon. This newfound understanding can lead to a transformative shift in your relationship. The seemingly insurmountable issues you were facing can suddenly seem manageable. The love that was once dwindling can be rekindled, stronger and more vibrant than before. This is the power of the five love languages. On a broader scale, the principles in this book have been utilized in various contexts, including family therapy, friendships, and even in the workplace. It has shown us that the fundamental need for love and understanding is universal, and that by learning to speak and understand different love languages, we can foster deeper, more meaningful connections. The Five Love Languages reminds us that love, in any language, is a powerful force that can transform our relationships and our lives. It encourages us to step outside our comfort zones, to learn new ways of expressing love, and to be open to understanding how others express their love. It is not just a book, but a guide, a beacon of hope for those struggling to connect, and a testament to the transformative power of love. So what's the big takeaway from the five love languages, you might ask? The essence lies in the power of understanding and speaking your partner's love language. It's about realizing that love isn't a one-size-fits-all emotion, but a dynamic force that speaks in multiple dialects. Navigating the world of love languages is more than just an intriguing endeavor. It's an enlightening journey that can profoundly transform your relationships. It's about learning to love more effectively, more genuinely, more deeply. And that's a journey worth embarking on. Gary Chapman's book acts as an invaluable guide on this journey. It's packed with insights, stories and practical advice that will equip you to better understand and communicate with your loved ones. So, why not take the plunge? The Five Love Languages isn't just about love, it's a guide to better understanding, communication and connection. So go ahead, take the journey and transform your relationships.